called A Rock. This goes out to an Arab American I know who sucks at life. And I decided to write this poem about him because you would think like, hey, you're Arab, you should be cool. No, it doesn't always work out that way. So <laughs> he kind of had like the standard liberal position, like we need to pull out of a rock because it costs us so much money. And I was like, I need to punch you in the face, but I'm not vinyl. <laughs> so I wrote this poem instead. This is called uh, A Rock. A rock has a $79 billion surplus. We spent more than a trillion dollars on this war. More than 4,000 of our troops have died. God knows how many are coming back limbless. Others with post-traumatic stress disorder. This is not making us safer. This is not within our interests. This is what he says to me. An Arab American. An American Arab. An American who happens to be Arab. I look back at him. I'm not some mainstream CNN producer, and three Iraqis have died since our conversation started. I'm not an American. I'm a human being. I don't write poems about Kevlar vests or USO tours. And don't get me wrong, I support the troops, the ones in Iraq, Palestine, Afghanistan, Northern Ireland, South Africa, and Birmingham, and not all their bullets fit in guns. They've written poetry and music and literature an oppressor could never dream of. I do. I feel bad that I can't afford my new iPhone, but I've yet to hear you utter that more than a million Iraqis have been slaughtered in this war, that their $79 billion surplus can't get them electricity or stability, that the surge has failed, Baghdad has been cleansed of Sunnis, and more than 5 million have been made refugees. I'm sorry that you can't afford your cross-country road trip because gas costs too much money and the US dollar can't get you past go in Monopoly. We wrap ourselves around 50 stars and lapel pins while civilians and occupied nations die because of our policy. If that makes me anti-American, hood me, rip me from my home, and waterboard me in a Guantanamo prison, I'm not looking for the American dream or your silly notion of exceptionalism. You think because you love a country, it excuses jingoism. Your so-called rights and interests matter more than the countless deaths of others. And you know what? I'm not gonna call you a sellout or Arab Uncle Tom. I'm gonna call you what you are, a shitty human being, one that chides the right, invokes civil movements, all while taking step backwards. Yes, Iraq has cost us a trillion dollars, but there's no currency to replace your thirst for hegemony. I'm not an American, I'm a human being. If that's so hard for you to stomach, maybe you should grab a plane ticket with your frequent flyer miles and move the hell out of my country. Thank you.